In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the Maritime Museum in Astoria, Oregon, coming up right after this. We're outside uh, the Columbia River Maritime Museum in Astoria, Oregon, headed in. This museum is incredibly accessible. Uh, we didn't run into anything that my wife wanted to see that we couldn't get to. And it is amazing all of the things that are in it. And this is a look at the gift shop. And my wife's on her wheel CI2 and you can see she's navigating through the gift shop, taking a look at the things that they have available there. Cars in the mirror even. Um, and this museum is really interesting if you have any interest in, at least in maritime history, because the Columbia River Bar, which is just offshore of Astoria, is one of the most dangerous uh, passages in the world, trying to get in up into a river. Uh, the, there's sandbars offshore that, that change location, change position. They have really high seas. And in fact, this map right here on the wall was a map of all the shipwrecks. You can see one of the floating uh, uh, bells so that you can hear where you are if, if you can't see. And there it's talking about crossing this bar. And so as you go through this museum, you see a lot of things that are associated with the Columbia River in this area. Up in the top, you can see a team of uh, Coast Guard uh, individuals training. There's some information here about what you'd have to do to, to train. Again, you see it's uh, very nicely accessible at wheelchair height. Uh, there's information about uh, the river, about uh, the bar crossing, about the ships. Uh, there's a, a picture of a ship right there from days gone by. Actually, it's an actual ship up on a display, not a picture, really. And there are lots of ships in it. Uh, lots of, or let's call them boats. They're probably not, don't classify as ships just it was amazing it's full of information you'll see in a minute we'll sh I'll show you that they have places that you can get up and, and drive into with a wheelchair or be pushed in with a wheelchair uh, you can get a good look at all of these models in fact sure I'll go up on that deck we see on the left in a little while so as you can see in from above it's just a, a wealth of information I could have spent a lot longer here this day. They do a couple of things that are really nice. They have a um, special uh, sessions for those with sensory challenges so that uh, they're, not, they're not in with everybody else where there's a lot of noise and a lot of light. The, they show you ships. In fact, she's in the, in the cab of a ship right now, or a simulated cab anyway. And you can see she was able to turn around in there. You can see uh, one of the boats that was is used in that area. Outside of the museum, there is a light, the lightship Columbia, and then there is a um, was a, uh, a GPS position the light that replaced the the lightship. Uh, in, in the old days, the lightship stayed out there uh, offshore, and they'd have to come in and out through the bar. Now here's the lift, and this is kind of an interesting lift. It, we're zoomed kind of out a long way, so you got a very wide, wide angle perspective. Uh, it's not that long and narrow as it looks. But you just slide in, and you know it lifts you up to the top. You see me up at the top, um, photographing and shooting video as she comes up. And there's a film crew we were with. Uh, by the way, you saw the links there to, if, to subscribe. Do me a favor, it's always really helpful when people subscribe to the channel. And also liking is very important. It helps YouTube go ahead and uh, know whether there's content worth sharing with others. And also, if this is something that would interest you, let me know uh, in the comments down below if, if this interests you or not. One way or the other, do me a favor, put a comment in. Cheryl's kind of exploring up there. I'm checking the camera and the camera crew's filming all of this. We were there um, exploring accessibility in Astoria. And I'll say this, that town is very, very accessible. We saw so many very cool things while we were there. Uh, 
we really enjoyed our our stay. So we're going to go back down. Uh, in this uh, location, there's specific exhibits that are designed that rotate in and out. Uh, we watched uh, a video downstairs about uh, what it's like crossing the bar, and you know, it helped you appreciate the scale of the challenge associated with it. Um, in one of these rooms, we'll see a, a, a light, like would have been on a lighthouse in times gone by. You see all of the exhibits on the wall. The, the, it's wide open, so it makes it easy to get around, and there's just, like I said, you could spend hours in there looking at it. If I had been by myself, I might have spent the whole day there just trying to look at all the exhibits and read the things. You can see some beaver pelts there. A lot of the history of what went on along the Columbia River from the time of Lewis and Clark expedition. That was where they reached the Pacific Ocean. You can see different signs of types of craft. I'm just going to let you look. And I'll, let you, I'll chime back in if I see something special. But it's all very interesting. There's the light I mentioned earlier. You can see it rotating around. A lot of these uh, where you see there's uh, video playing, there's also narration that goes with it. Quite a bit of use of technology and audiovisual in there to make the story really come alive. who's not uh, a huge ship fan of things like this, uh, she really enjoyed it as well. So it's a, it's a family friendly activity. She's taking pictures as she goes, which is why she pauses so often. bathrooms here were accessible. I said they had the half lift to get up uh, where you could get a good view. They did have a video that was available and that was uh, where you watch the video they had plenty of accessible space. Now this is not the, the, uh, like the movie theater but that's another place they were playing some AV that you could sit and watch.
outside. There's a big ship's anchor. Cheryl's going to explore the outside grounds a little bit. In just a second, uh, you'll see a screen that's got a picture of my face on it. And, and that's there so that in the event that you aren't subscribed, your subscribe button is red. You can click on my face. She's going to get an up-close look here at the, uh, at the Coast Guard ship and then the light ships up in here as well. Uh, the light ship's definitely not accessible. It is was a working ship. It had no elevators, very small passages, and, and the guys lived in it for weeks at a time. And as rough as the the water can be in the Pacific out there, I don't think it was the best of experiences. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, chance to look at this museum. If you ever get to Astoria, it's very much worth checking out. Uh, the playlist on the right has more from Astoria, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.